This is JB's Baseball Cards, here with another video of the Purple Parallel Blister Packs from Meyer. Uh, these were $3.49 each. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and check out my first video. In this video, I'm going to be on the hunt for an actual vertical or portrait style Purple Parallel. I've opened a bunch already and only pulled, um, I haven't pulled any vertical, they've all been the landscape. Which is alright, I've pulled some good parallels, but It'd be nice to get some vertical to know that they actually made them or to know that I just didn't get a bad run um, at my local Meyer. But $3.49 each, pretty solid deal. You can only find these at Meyer in the Midwest. So, And yet again, another uh, landscape Diamondbacks team card. Now there are some good landscape cards you can get, but uh, for the most part, the big rookies are all um, portrait style like Wander Franco and Karen Duran and Brandon Marsh. You get 16 cards um, besides the purple parallel though, so let's see if we can get some good out of here. Um, I haven't got anything huge out of those, but I've had opportunities to. Got a bunch of uh, rainbow foils and uh, retail blue exclusive parallels, which you can get a Wander Franco, that'd be pretty good. Here's a nice one Mike Trout, 1987 design, and Luis Robert, stars of MLB. Got two more packs here. Like I said in the first video, me and my cousin Bob, I don't know when I'm going to post this, but we're going to try to make a few videos of these. There's another landscape of Logan Gilbert. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, it just might be a bad run where they're all landscape. That'd be interesting. I'm not sure why they would all go to the same store, though. Maybe something wrong with production or something. There's a Joey Gallo Chrome. And a Bryce Harper stars of MLB. Alright, last pack here. Let's see if we can get something good. Oh, my very first vertical. So It's a success, I'd say. Even though I'm not a huge fan of Tim Anderson being a Cubs fan. But um, I am happy to see that not all of them are... Landscape. I was getting worried there was a little bit of a production issue. And a nice one on the back here. Stars of MLB of Wander Franco. Let's see if we can get his base rookie card in here. I don't think I have pulled one from one of these blister packs. A base Wander Franco. I did get one of his Stars of MLB earlier. There was him, but that was just like a combo card with him and Vlad Jr. Shohei Otani. Jaron Duran rookie card. That's pretty solid. Last couple cards here, Jose Ramirez, Mitch Hanniger, and the Wander Franco stars of MLB. So, pretty good rip there. I was happy to see that they're not all um, landscape cards. Got Tim Anderson for the purples, Logan Gilbert, and a Diamondbacks team card. So, there's some also some good, um, just the team cards. They can be good, especially with Wander on the Tampa Bay Rays as a horizontal card. Reed Detmers has a rookie card that is landscape as well, so you can definitely get some good ones, but for the most part, the portrait style is the best for uh, base cards this year. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of these cards. Um, Meyer is a Midwest store, so you can only get them there, so I guess fortunate to live in the Midwest here and able to pick these up for the last couple years. Um, before, I think they were like a Target, or not Target, but a Toys R Us exclusive, so I guess that would have been a more nat national chain where you could get them all over the country but happy to be able to get these in midwest here and i think they're a pretty solid deal overall if you look at price per card and also just factoring in the purple parallel which is rare so definitely happy to have be able to pick these up thanks again for watching hope you're having a good day please like comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video go cubbies